Hi everyone and welcome back to your second maths lesson for this week. As I said yesterday, you will be continuing with fractions today. So, before we get started, what you are going to need today is some pencil, some paper, possibly some scissors if you want to cut down some shapes to help you with your halving of today. So, as we do every day, we are going to begin with our flashback four. So, please stop the video now and complete the following questions. And this is your second flashback four, so please stop the video now and complete this activity. Okay, so let's do a little bit of our recap of yesterday. So, there are three questions I'm going to ask you. One, which of these images can be cut into half? Which of these images can be cut into half in more than one way? And how many different ways could these images be cut in half? So, please stop the video now, draw out the objects that you can see on the screen, and then try and cut them in half. I'm now going to go through the answers on the next page. So, as you can see, we have done some lines to represent where you can half the shape. So, the dice is a square. The dice can be cut into four different ways. As we did previously, it can go down the middle, it can go vertically, or it can go diagonally from corner to corner. The smiley face could only go one way for it to be half, and it had to be right down the middle. Because if we were to do it going this way, then there are two extra dots look, which means for the eyes, that is not the same at the bottom. So that is impossible. The apple cannot be cut exactly, because if I cut it down that way, look, I have a leaf on one side and not on the other. If I was to do it vertically, I have a different top half to a bottom part. The sun is a circle, which means it can be cut in a range of different ways, as you can see. So well done if you've got most of them correctly at home. So now what you are going to do is you are going to draw out these three shapes. As you can see, I've only drawn half the shape. What I'm going to ask you to do is to draw the other half of the shape. Fantastic, well done. So I'm going to now continue to show you how to do it. So I have a line going down, as you can see. There's a line there, so I draw a line here. There's a line going down, as you can see, and then a line at the bottom to finish off my shape. Oops, there we go. And then my arrow, so my arrow goes diagonally down. It goes across, it goes down, and then it goes across. Mine aren't exactly equal, it's just because I'm doing it on the computer and it's quite tricky to make it equal. Okay, so make sure when you're doing it that you are doing them equal. And the same for the circle, this is going to be very tricky due to the fact that I'm using a mouse. Oops, there we go. It's close enough. Yours will be a lot better if you were doing it by hand. So well done if you got them at home. So what you are going to do now is you could either draw out these shapes or if you go to tapestry, there will be a range of these activity sheets for you to complete at home. So as you can see, again, there is one star, two stars and three stars that you can complete and make it harder as you go on. So try and challenge yourselves as much as you can. And then finally, there is a creative art activity at the end, which I thought would be quite nice for you to do and upload. So can you create your own fraction flower slash garden? So you might just do lots of different flowers with different fractions shaded in half. So you could choose a range of different shapes like they have, or you could change, choose one shape and then represent it in different ways. Okay, once you've done that, please stick them onto a piece of paper and then you will take a whole picture and upload that onto Tapestry for me. Okay. And then finally, my reasoning problem for today is Carl and Matthew. They are showing how to split a rectangle in half. So Carl thinks this is how you show half, whereas Matthew thinks this is how you represent half. So who has split their shape in half? Can you explain your answers? 
So once you've completed that, upload your answers onto Tapestry and we look forward to seeing your fantastic work for today. Well done for all your hard work today, guys. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow to finding out some more about fractions of amounts tomorrow, which is a little bit trickier. Bye, you one.